Welcome everyone. I'm delighted to announce that the AT Awards 2020 are about to commence. The hashtag for the event is hashtag AT Awards. Please be aware that this film contains flashing images and may cause discomfort and trigger seizures for those with photosensitive epilepsy. Hi Matt, where are you? Hey Duns, well I'm at home aren't I? What do you mean you're at home? You're supposed to be here. Hey? I said you're supposed so line's cutting to out. be Sorry. here. What? What is it? You What's... should be here. What is it? What? You should be here, getting ready for the AT Awards online. I am ready, I am ready. I've just got to, you know, have a shave. But I'm, I'm ready, look, I've got the environment. Isn't it lovely? No, you should be here, preparing. No, it's, it's online, Duns. I mean, I'm worried about you lot, I'll be honest, because everything's online now and basically there is no more need for buildings, so trouble. No, the audience is online. You're supposed to be here. No, doing it from home. And it's the age of Zoom. It's the age of Zoom, so no need to travel. Thus, home Jedi. That's what this is all about. Jedi. Listen, it's the only way you're going to get paid. <coughs> I'm on my way! Dons, you're not Carol Vorderman. Hello out there! How are you? I made it! Thank goodness! It's fine, it's not the BBC as I'm allowed to fib a little bit. Uh, this is the awards that even a global pandemic couldn't stop. The 80 awards of 2020. What a ride. I'm sorry about the slight delay. I got, I got a flat tyre. I had to stop at Heston Services. But we're here now and the question is, are you all ready? It's time to commence the AT Awards with more entries expanding the boundaries of the discipline across the globe. And we know you're out there today. We know you're in Denmark. We know you're in Australia. Please do get in touch because this is the event that everybody's been texting, Zooming, looking forward to. So get on it, tweet it up, go Insta crazy. And today I'm hoping to see the first architectural TikTok, or as I like to call it, the architect talk. Let's make it happen. I know we can. Shall we move across? Let's move across through this, our, our socially distanced studio from which we are coming live today. And this is how live we are. If I show you on this screen, up come the shutters to reveal the one, the only Mr. Eddie Weir, CIAT president, live from his office in the Hollywood Hills. <laughs> how are you, Eddie? It's, it's great to see you again. Yeah, and you too. Is it true that the slight delay we experienced at the top of the show there was so that you could put up new wallpaper behind you? Uh, no, listen, the, the wallpaper is a permanent fixture here. It's part of a whole ensemble, like curtains, cushions, the whole lot. I was going to say, I didn't know how Diane would feel about that. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> 
Tell me, listen, this year for you, it, it, it must have been incredibly tricky at times, you know, to, to come into the presidency and then this thing happened. But tell me how the community has responded to this thing that we're in. Yeah, despite everything that, that's going on, we've really made the best of things. There's no doubt that these are challenging times, but out of such difficulties, we can also take some positives. Though these types of online platforms um, have had a, a wonderful opportunity to engage with so many of our members and, and regional committees and worldwide centres, and I get to see the personal side of their efforts and how the pandemic has affected them. Uh, and what's great for me is I have the opportunity to reassure them that support was there for those who needed it. It also strikes me it's a very exciting time to be an architectural technologist because of COVID-19. We're all looking at space and the way we use it and how we fit into it and work around it in a completely different way, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. And for us, the AT Awards is a really exciting event in the Institute's calendar. It's something that we all look forward to, despite all the difficulties that the pandemic has brought us. It's lovely to end the year in such a good news story as this. And of course, the, the possibility that there's a distribution of a vaccine is just around the corner and that life for many of us could get back to normal. And that gives us plenty of cause for good cheer. Uh, well, listen, it's, it's lovely to see. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry we can't meet in person. It's always a highlight of the year for me, the, the AT Awards. Are you psyched about these awards in particular this year? Oh, look, uh, I've been looking forward to it for, for absolute ages. I've been keeping an eye on uh, the hashtag AT Awards this morning, and the excitement is really building. It's really great. So for me, it, it's, a, it's a personal congratulations to all the nominees for today's award categories, which in itself is a pretty impressive accolade. So good luck to everyone. I'm really, really excited for you all. It makes a big difference, doesn't it? Reaching out that way through whatever medium, whether it's Twitter, whether it's Instagram. That's something I know that you'll want to see more of as we go through the awards ceremony and beyond today. Absolutely. There, there's no better way to, to reach into everybody's uh, computers and handsets. Uh, it, it's so easy and it's so accessible to everyone. So, yes, everybody keep tweeting, keep doing all the social media stuff. Uh, you do a great job. Thank you. Eddie, thank you so much, and we'll catch up again in a bit. Thank you, Eddie. Well, there you go. You heard it. Eddie said, tweet it up. Let's get in contact. Let people know how you feel about the awards. If you're a winner, if you've been nominated, if you're proud of what you've done, if, you, if you're excited about what you've seen, please do get in touch. Right, down to business. The awards. We begin with the Student Awards for Excellence in Architectural Technology. And specifically here, we're looking at the report category. In a highly competitive environment, these awards demonstrate the ongoing commitment to recognising the work of students and their crucial role as architectural technology professionals and future leaders in the sector, both in the UK and across the globe. Run my VT, Neil. The Student Award for Excellence in Architectural Technology report. Recognising outstanding research achievement in architectural technology, a dissertation or research assignment. The finalists are Achieving a circular built environment A critical analysis of cradle to cradle Nick Jones, University of Plymouth Applying carbon neutral principles to the resolution of technical architecture Ben Hall, ACIAT, Sheffield Hallam University Early design computational simulation tools for net zero energy buildings Adelia Papelzan, Birmingham City University. The Future of Technology in Measured Surveying Practices. Lucy Mannion, Birmingham City University. Generative Design, Redefining Roles Within the Design Process. Stuart Cully, Ulster University. Intelligent Assets Tracking with Circular Economy and Blockchain Technology in the Construction Industry to Solve Urban Problems for Sustainable and Equitable Futures. Shazadi Mohammed, Manipal Academy of Higher Education. In reverse order, the 2020 AT Award winners are... Commended, Shazadi Mohammed from Manipal Academy of Higher Education for intelligent assets tracking with circular economy and blockchain technology in the construction industry to solve urban problems for sustainable and equitable futures. This report instigated the application of blockchain technology and intelligent asset tracking to improve circular economy principles through the example of eco-villages. 
blockchain technology possibilities were investigated to implement material passports and fourth industrial revolution technologies. The comprehensive range of factors considered with its many fascinating elements led the judges to awarding this as the commended entry. Highly commended, Stuart Cully from Ulster University for generative design, redefining roles within the design process. In his report, Stuart explored the significant change currently happening to architectural design as a result of digital disruption. It identifies current generative design tools and applies them to produce a workflow for the design of a hypothetical eco-hotel. There are many benefits to employing a generative design approach. However, it will require human input and analysis and the role of the architectural technologist is fundamental to this process. The winner of the 2020 Student Award for Excellence in Architectural Technology report is Adelia Papelzan from Birmingham City University for Early Design Computational Simulation Tools for Net Zero Energy Buildings. This is an outstanding report on the relevant topic of Net Zero Energy Buildings. The comprehensive nature of this technical report showcased many strengths, such as emphasising the impact that early design decisions made will have on the building's environmental performance during its usage. The adoption and usage of simulation tools are vital to embed energy and environmental performance as key aspects of a building design which are well suited to the architectural technology profession. Well done! Great work! Well done, Adelia! Well done, Birmingham City University! Well done, everybody! that was nominated. Congratulations, well done to you all. If you are a winner of any of these awards and you're wondering how, when you'll be receiving your certificate and trophy, they will be dispatched to you in the new year and each finalist will be receiving a certificate too. Now, it's time to go over to the first of our updates to report on this year's successfully accredited and approved programmes. Uh, accreditation and approval of, of academic programmes as well as Centre of Excellence status, recognises the Institute's important partnerships with educational establishments. Um, who all educate and supports the development of AT as an academic discipline. All educational establishments who offer approved or accredited programmes are essential in delivering the fundamental underpinning knowledge which provides a foundation for the AT professionals of the future. Have a look at this. Certificate of Approval and Reaccreditation, Waterford Institute of Technology. Accreditation at honours degree level is a demonstration of an education establishment's commitment to delivering learning of a high standard by preparing talented individuals to enter the growing architectural technology community. Waterford Institute of Technology attained programme reaccreditation for its BSc Honours, Architectural and BIM Technology and reapproval for its BSc Architectural Technology. Approved qualifications demonstrates that programmes have been assessed in terms of content, structure and resources. Well done. Good stuff. Good stuff, Waterford. And we're going to be discovering more about other educational establishments as we progress through the awards. You've already been getting in touch. Like Eddie said, uh, let's have a look. Let's ha have a look what you've been saying. Jonathan France has been looking forward very much to this. Well, we're right in it right now. Very odd time, he says, to have an awards ceremony. 11.30 morning is the new tucks and drinks time. Apparently, it absolutely is, Jonathan. And the reason for that is that we want to be able to reach out to people across the globe. That's the, almost the lovely thing about this situation that we're in, is that some people couldn't come to the event, but look, everybody's invited. Uh, he's also saying, uh, yeah, 2020 has thrown us some curveballs, so why not? Uh, they are nominated for the Excellence in Architectural Technology uh, category in the awards. Let's find out in a little bit um, if, if they've won anything. Let's find out. Any, any more? We've got another tweet coming. Let's have a look. Here we go. Graham Watts. Uh, good afternoon. Were we there yet? Good morning to you still, Graham. I have to say the opening to the AT Awards was quite brilliant. Great idea. Well done. The thank you emoji. Thank you so much, Graham. Let's give it up for Graham as well. <laughs> Uh, we'll always take your praise any time of the day or night. Thank you so much and keep getting in touch however you want to do it. Um, now, we're going to move on. Uh, you've already found out who the winners are for the report category. Now to announce the winners for the Student Award for Excellence in Architectural Technology. But this time, it's for projects. The Student Award for Excellence in Architectural Technology. Project. 
recognizing outstanding design achievement in architectural technology in a university or college project. The finalists are Green City Residential Development, Reese Scattergood, University of Derby. Integrated Project, Karen Sabawal, ACIAT, University of Derby. Intersections, Ben Hall, ACIAT, Sheffield Hallam University. Passive Design Hub, Bradley Harding, Anglia Ruskin University. Playing with Music, Maeve Cork Butters, Macintosh School of Architecture. Sheaf Valley Link Project, Henry Yang, Sheffield Hallam University. In reverse order, the 2020 AT Award winners are... Commended, Rhys Scattergood from University of Derby for Green City Residential Development. This project presents a realistic mixed-use project that fits the location well and the wider plans that Derby Council has for the city. The proposal is focused around bringing residents the opportunity for green living. The entry showcases very good 3D visuals to communicate the design that are supported by proficient technical detailing. Highly commended, Henry Yang from Sheffield Hallam University for Sheaf Valley Link Project. An imaginative design project for a building adjoining Sheffield's train station to promote commercial growth within the city. The solution combines sustainable measures with a mix of structural elements on a very challenging site. The effective resolution of geometry delivers the concept to provide a striking form that was highly commended by the judges. The winner of the 2020 Student Award for Excellence in Architectural Technology project is... Karen Sabaval, ACIAT from University of Derby for Integrated Project. A well-planned and balanced project for a mixed-use development, which considers air circulation within the building across the season. The project is comprehensive in its approach and demonstrates a strong environmental strategy throughout with appropriate use of materials. The technical resolution displays and rigorous technical detailing makes for a functional building with good thought given to buildability. These combined makes the project outstanding as the winner. Oh yes! Oh fantastic! Well done Karen, well done to everybody that was nominated and commended in that category. Fantastic. Definitely architectural technology professionals to keep an eye on right there. Uh, you can find out all about those projects, the reports and the people from today in the special edition of the winter issue of AT Journal. And this year, for the very first time, also via the CIAT Digital Showcase Virtual Project Gallery. That's sponsored by Apple Core Designs. Thank you very much to them. And it's on our website. Um, it's time to find out a little bit more about those programme accreditations. Hit the button, Neil. Certificates of Accreditation and Reaccreditation. Letter Kenny Institute of Technology and Middlesex University, Institute of Technology Carlo and University of Salford. We are delighted to announce that the following educational establishments have attained programme accreditation for their BSc Honours Architectural Technology for the first time. Letterkenny Institute of Technology and Middlesex University. Congratulations also to Institute of Technology Carlo and University of Salford, who have successfully been re-accredited. Wow, fantastic stuff. Letterkenny. Uh, Letterkenny, well listen, we have got time now just to have a, a look and see if we've got a few more tweets coming in. Uh, what are you saying? Michael O'Keefe. How are you, Mike? Wow, that's an incredible building behind you. Did you, is that one of yours? I hope so, it's, that is ornate. You put some work in there, a lot of guilt work, I'd say. Uh, he says, really enjoying the AT Awards, very professional, and Matt, all right, is as entertaining as always. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? You, I think there's a delete button on Twitter if you want to. Any more? Have we got another one coming? Let's have a look. Uh, here we have CIAT, Greater London Region. Fantastic student projects, weren't they? Absolutely demonstrating how far our discipline has come since ink, pen and drawing board. The future of 80 is comp in competent and safe hands, judging by the quality of the students' submissions. Uh, isn't it just, isn't it marvellous to see young minds uh, absolutely committing to the idea of making space beautiful and innovative? It's really exciting to be a part of. Um, we're now going to move on uh, to the almost other end of the scale, if you like, um, an award which is particularly special for members of the Institute. It's given 
Uh, it, it's for those who have given considerably in a voluntary capacity to CIAT, making a difference to their professional body of choice. Dame Shirley Bassey has her gold finger. Sir Bradley Wiggins has a pot of Olympic gold. CIAT has its gold award. Watch this for a very special presentation. The Gold Award recognises and celebrates the dedication and commitment of chartered architectural technologists who have demonstrated a significant contribution or outstanding service to the Institute. It is presented to chartered architectural technologists who have changed, developed or advanced the Institute by solid demonstrable and outstanding achievement. The 85th recipient of the Gold Award is David Trainer, MCIAT for his dedicated service to the Northern Ireland region and the Institute. David has been an inspirational member and role model for more than 20 years. He has served the Institute with impeccable integrity and adoration. He reformed and restructured the Northern Ireland regional representation by providing the encouragement, guidance and foundation to develop the region into the huge success story it is today. David is a hugely respected and admired member and is held in highest esteem by the wider architectural technology profession. The unmatched dedication he provides and the personal way in which he applies it is remarkable. It gives me great pleasure to present David, my dear friend, with this prestigious award. Hello, dear friends, colleagues and guests. I am both humbled and honoured to be chosen as a recipient for the Institute's Gold Award in this year, 2020. Whilst it has been a very difficult operating year for all our members, the built environment and the construction industry as a whole, it is a great testimony to the Institute and its staff as to how it is leading and supporting the membership throughout this period. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Northern Ireland Region for their nomination and support and to the CIAT Award Panel for deeming me worthy to receive this prestigious award. May I also offer my congratulations to all the various award winners and entrants as presented here today. Personally, it has been a particular tough year for both my wife and I, and whilst I gracefully accept this award from the Institute, I would like to dedicate it to my wife Lucy for her courage, endurance and forbearance over the past eight months and for what may lie ahead. So I sign off now and in the words of a renowned President Eddie Weir, and I quote, it is truly a fabulous time to be at ET. Slancha and thank you everyone. Oh, great stuff. Let, let's get Eddie back and have a chat about the Gold Award, about the Institute and about and about David, and also all those other members who give so much of their time so freely, Eddie. I mean, I, I remember David was one of the, the first people, when, when you welcomed me into the AT family and uh, met for the first time, he was the first person to reach out a hand, introduce himself, and, and you know, that, it, that's who he is, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Matt, how, how great is that? I'm so delighted for David. And I, and I make no secret that he's my dear friend and colleague from here in the Northern Ireland region. And we love him and Lucy in equal measures. For those of us who work and have worked with David in the past, whether it be regionally or, or nationally, you'll know that his dedication and, and devotion to the Institute is immense. As you're probably aware, Northern Ireland has been in the receiving end of yo-yo lockdowns and circuit breaks over the past couple of months. One week the regulations are relaxed and the next week they're not. So it was a great opportunity to visit David at his home and actually present him with the award. And to be honest, it meant a tremendous amount to me personally, as it was an honour. So as you can imagine what it meant to David, he was so thrilled, delighted and humble at the same time. I suppose that really sums him up. I love this wee tribute to Lucy. They're a double act and, and she supports him in everything that he does. So congratulations again, David. You very much deserve it. Well, none of us do these things alone, do we? You know, whatever achievements we have, that there's always this family that, that are just, it's a team effort always. I'm just wondering, 
you know, when you see somebody like David, you know, other members who are, you know, have had those years of experience, how important are they right now when you've got people perhaps at the beginnings of their careers in a really uncertain time? How is it important to, to have somebody like that at the head? Yeah, we, we, we focus very much on succession planning within the, the regions and the centres. Uh, and, you know, it's lovely that we see like a, uh, a suite of a cohort of, of younger members coming through. Uh, and it's it's the likes of David, that those that sort of figureheads that sort of offer support and guidance and, and encourage if you. If you've been following the social media, you'll see how excited everybody is about the AT Awards. And David is at the top of that. He'll be tweeting his wee heart out for the rest of the day. Uh, and it's all of that excitement that sort of builds and, and develops CIAT into the, the wonderful, warm family that it is today. I think it is a time of, of you know, unique challenges, is, isn't it? And I'm just, I'm wondering, you know, if there are members out there who are maybe not having the best of times or uncertain about the road ahead, what's the, what's the, the, the protocol, what's the technique for getting in touch with people and reaching out and, and getting a bit more clarity? From, from the very outset of the pandemic, we initiated a, a support network uh, and we made sure that we got that message out to everyone as quickly as we possibly could. And it was really well received. Uh, we had a dedicated portion uh, on the website just dedicated to, to COVID-19 and the support. Uh, and through our dear friends at the Architect Benevolent Society, uh, they're able to offer financial help and mental health support in association with Anxiety UK. If anybody should feel that they need any of that support, it's there for you. Contact the Institute or first instance, have a look at the website. All the information is available at hand. OK, well, I have to say the other thing I had to say is if that's David's back garden, it is clearly the back garden of an architectural technologist. Wow. <laughs> and he's the only person I know that's got two pairs of kitchen tongs. So kudos for, for that as well. Beaut beautifully done, Eddie. Really beautiful. <laughs> very, very safe. No problems there at all. OK, we'll chat to you a bit later on, Eddie. Thank you very much. Uh, we almost, uh, also mustn't forget to thank our fabulous judges. Uh, who spent lockdown studying, critiquing and marking all of the entries that we've received. A shout out for all of them and uh, for all of their time and commitment. If you want to know who they are, you can find out all of that detail in the journal. So check it out. Right. We return now to our presentations. And here we have the Awards for Excellence in Architectural Technology, which are sponsored by McParland Finn Limited, who administrate the CIAT insurance services, uh, and from whom we have this very special message from Ian Bush, the Deputy Manager. We at McParland Finn Limited are delighted to once again be sponsoring the AT Awards. In our role as insurance brokers, we deal with a large number of CIAT member practices, and it is always great to see that the hard work that goes into these important projects is getting the acknowledgement and recognition it truly deserves. So our warmest congratulations go to the winners of this year's awards for excellence in architectural technology. OK, this set of awards allows entrants to demonstrate uh, excellence in the practice of architectural technology, representing its position, importance and impact globally. The discipline is critical to the success of a project from the initial concept right the way through to its completion. The finalists are all unique schemes which range in their inclusivity, creativity and their end use. What they all share is successfully delivering the perfect package of design, performance, innovation and function all of which are at the core of architectural technology. The first category to announce is the small to medium category. Hit the button, Neil. The award for excellence in architectural technology, small to medium, sponsored by McParlin Finn Limited. Projects up to the value of 2 million or equivalent for international entries and have demonstrated outstanding achievement and excellence in architectural technology. The finalists are Buchanan House, PJC Architecture Limited, Claremont Senior School, Beaumont Building, Tom Gray, MCIT, Robert Shreve Associates Limited, Extension and Renovation, Door, Sheffield, JR on behalf of his trust, Formation of STEM Hub, Stuart Davidson Architecture, New Low Energy Dwelling, Stuart Davidson Architecture, 
The Padua Room, Ian Richards, MCIAT. In reverse order, the winners of the Award for Excellence in Architectural Technology Small to Medium are... Commended! Extension and Renovation, Dor Sheffield. JR on behalf of his trust. A thoughtfully designed extension and renovation of an existing home to provide inclusive living accommodation in Sheffield. Carefully matching the specific client requirements, the new extension is in harmony with the original character of the host structure. There was careful consideration of the existing structure and integration of the technical design throughout the whole process that is reflected in the final design and use. The reconfiguration includes a curved floating ramp, but the home is not dominated by the accessible features. Fine sympathetic restoration of original design features. Highly commended. Formation of STEM Hub, Stuart Davidson Architecture. Clever detailing with attention to detail is a standout for this formation of a STEM learning hub, which is an extension to the existing campus at Borders College in Roxburghshire. Education in both design and use, the hub is a robust submission with good architectural technology and design aspects, which result in a building that is simple in form and function. It acts as a good testbed and education learning tool for environmental design and construction and has used the ethos of Passive House throughout. The recording of performance during construction and design is a useful asset for future developments and as a learning resource. The winner of the 2020 Award for Excellence in Architectural Technology Small to Medium is... Buchanan House, PJC Architecture Limited. This individual home in County Durham, classified as a Paragraph 55 house, functions for its occupants with clever use of the site and innovative design. With sound technical detailing and selection of materials, it utilised available resources on site to overcome site conditions. While simple in its form, the well-executed design and construction ensured a clean and well-thought-through scheme. Use of technologies included the geothermal heating, mechanical heat recovery ventilation system, thermal mass storage, all whilst retaining wall photovoltaic panels and a sustainable drainage system. This is a showcase for demonstrating how architectural technology has supported the design, making it an outstanding winner for the Award for Excellence in Architectural Technology Small to Medium Projects category. Oh yes, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. What fantastically inspiring projects. And I, I don't think you'll have missed the fact that a lot of it is about sustainable design, a real emphasis this year on that. Obviously something we're gonna see more and more of in the coming years. And also what we wanna see more and more of is your tweets from faraway places. We are still running that competition to see where's the furthest place we can get a tweet from today. Uh, there is, they're coming in. There is a lot of love for David Trainer out there, as you might expect. Um, so we wanna hear more about that. If you loved his tongs, if you loved his back garden, uh, please do get in touch, but let's see how far we can cast the net of architectural technology today. We know you're out there. We're saying hello from here in a small corner of South London. Uh, but now, are you ready for more accreditation? Yay! I think so. <laughs> Uh, it's time for more accreditation updates. This time we're looking at master's courses. Go for it, Neil. Certificates of Accreditation and Reaccreditation Masters. University of Derby. Accreditation for master's level degree programmes is a demonstration of an educational establishment's commitment to delivering the highest standards of postgraduate progression and specialism within the profession. The University of Derby has attained programme reaccreditation for its programme, Sustainable Architecture and Healthy Buildings, while the Building Information Modelling and Project Collaboration programme obtained accreditation for the first time. Oh yes, come on Derby, what a place to study, fantastic. Okay, uh, we're going to come to a couple of tweets and um, what we're going to do is we're going to have two tweets exclusively about David Trainer, what I'm calling a pair of trainers. Let's have a look. What have you said? Uh, great awards event from Mark Kennett. Hey, Mark. And you've used the guitar emoji, so you're okay with me. Uh, a great awards event. Love the gold award. David Trainer, a great recipient. He looks good with the mask. He also looks good without the mask. We should make that clear as well. Looking forward to the award for excellence in 80. Well, we're there. Hashtag 80 awards. Join the conversation. Get involved. Let's have another look. Where's the second trainer? Fantastic to see. This is from CIAT. 
uh, Northern Ireland region to see our own David Trainer with the CIAT 2020 Gold Award, great champion of our profession in Northern Ireland, and the Institute near and afar. Fantastic. The two emojis, party emoji. I have a feeling it will be a party uh, in the Trainer household tonight and absolutely should be. Right, keep them coming. Join the conversation. We now return to our awards for excellence in architectural technology. And now it's the medium to mega category with thanks once more to our sponsor, McParland Finn Limited. Go for it, Neil. The award for excellence in architectural technology, medium to mega, sponsored by McParland Finn Limited. Projects over the value of 2 million or equivalent for international entries and have demonstrated outstanding achievement and excellence in the practice of architectural technology. The finalists are The Catalyst, GSS Architecture Norwich City Football Club, Lotus Academy, LSI Architects Paxman Academy, Concertus Design and Property Consultants Station Square, Stephen Nixon, MCIAT, Stanley Bragg Architects in reverse order, the winners of the Award for Architectural Technology Medium to Mega are Commended, Paxman Academy, Concertus Design and Property Consultants Paxman Academy makes great optimization of an existing school to enhance occupant comfort in Colchester as a functional new sixth form and 900 place secondary school. Architectural technology was demonstrated through a fine level of details and use of BIM during the design phase to run clash detection simulations at the design stage. This enabled a reduction in clashes and queries on site. Sustainable design principles which integrated well with the surroundings. Materials selected will perform well and make it robust for future use. Highly commended. Norwich City Football Club Lotus Academy LSI Architects. Norwich City Football Club's new Lotus Academy provides a host of facilities with its design and structural approaches responding to humans' innate connection with the outdoor environment and promotes health, well-being, productivity and creativity, integrating many natural materials in the design. Architectural technology was demonstrated by the control of solar gains, maximising daylight, a fabric-first approach and heat pumps. These with the use of P, efficient services and an analysis using thermal dynamic simulation software enable this building to go beyond its performance expectations. The winner of the 2020 Award for Excellence in Architectural Technology Medium to Mega is The Catalyst GSS Architecture The Catalyst is a new build, educational and commercial project constructed on the Helix development within central Newcastle. This landmark building was produced for Newcastle University to house the National Innovation Centre for Ageing and the National Innovation Centre for Data. The detailing and integration of technology has resulted in fantastic spaces with extensive great use of BIM, reduction in construction time, clash detection and buildability. Incorporating solid eco-credentials, it attained the highest level of BREAM and has non-standard shapes and forms which deliver sound technical solutions. A fantastic scheme which demonstrates the very best in architectural technology with BIM modelling through design, construction and delivery, demonstrating a technical excellence in the delivered product and an outstanding winner of the Award for Excellence in Architectural Technology in the Medium to Mega category. Oh yes, fantastic stuff. You know what? Educational establishments like that, they are just stunning, aren't they? What incredible, inspiring places in which to learn. I would love to go and work out in the Norwich City Lotus Academy gym, wouldn't you? It looks fabulous. Uh, some really super projects there. Congratulations to all nominees, all of the commendations, all winners in both of our categories there. I know that uh, COVID allowing presentations of plaques for those environments, for those spaces, um, for those projects will happen in person. Yes, a real person will come and do it for you at some point during 2021. Now, on to a first, apprenticeships. They combine practical training in a job with study, which is an important alternative to allow students to qualify while receiving on the job experience. Apprenticeships offer an alternative way for individuals to fulfill their dreams of becoming a competent professional and importantly, a chartered architectural technologist. We are delighted therefore to have this very special announcement. Certificate for Accreditation of Apprenticeship 
Edinburgh Napier University. This is a first as we recognise those delivering apprenticeships as an alternative route into the profession and a career in architectural technology. The first to attain this is Edinburgh Napier University for its BSc Honours Construction and the Built Environment Architectural Technology. Staff, what a way into the industry, into, into the discipline. Isn't it fantastic? It's an exciting development. We look forward to seeing more apprenticeships uh, accredited in the very near future. What are you all saying? Let's find out. Back to our tweets. Dr. Matthew Brook, Pete, well done to the winners. Highly commended, commended and finalists of the hashtag AT Awards, student awards categories. Absolutely inspiring stuff. Lovely to see young minds there getting involved in the discipline. Let's have another one. Uh, CIAT Northern Region. Congratulations to the first Northern winner of the day at PJ. C, Architecture at CIAT Technologies, uh, winning the Architectural Ex Excellence Awards for Small to Medium Projects. Yeah, congratulations, guys. Uh, moving on, let's have one more. Anthony Walsh, really enjoying the AT Awards again this year, wondering whether the hashtag Wales region can bring home the hashtag ATOTY for a third year running. Oh, well, good luck to all, he says, but you do feel he's a little bit, got a, he's got a, a thing going there for Wales. Let's see, is that going to be, is that going to be the, the ATOTY, Architectural Technologist of the Year? He may be referring to the Katie, the Chartered Architectural Technologist of the Year. Who's going to win that? Uh, who knows? Well, funny you might say that, actually, because, Anthony, we now move on to our final award, the highly prestigious and sought after Chartered Architectural Technologist of the Year Award, uh, sponsored by ExtraTherm before announcing the finalists and the 2020 winner. Let's hear from Danny Kearney, who's Director of Marketing and Technical Services of ExtraTherm. He's got this message. Hello everyone. It's great once again to be involved with CIAT at their awards ceremony and a little bit sad that we're not doing it in person. I must say it's, it's one of those occasions where we get together with industry that we can really look forward to. Part of the beauty about CIAT is the personal connections that we make uh, as a team with your membership regionally and at London. Hopefully we'll see you there next year. Okay, uh, thank you, Danny. We also have Danny and the guys at Extra Therm to thank for the splendid, uh, larger than life, Extra Therm AT letters. Um, Danny has assured me that he'll be supplying me with an M and an extra T uh, so they can go in my conservatory. My, my family will love that. Thank you, Danny. Um, let's stop mucking about. All great awards are named after people. You've got your Oscar, you've got your Tony, you've got your Emmy. Well, We've got the Katie, and that's the Chartered Architectural Technologist of the Year. The Katie celebrates the unique skills, abilities, and achievements of the individual Chartered Architectural Technologist as an architectural technology professional. Let's discover the finalists. This award is the opportunity to celebrate and recognise an individual's contribution in achieving excellence as a chartered architectural technologist, regardless of their position in the profession. Testimonies were received from across all sectors of the profession, clearly demonstrating the diversity and breadth of where and how our chartered members work within the discipline. The Chartered Architectural Technologist of the Year Award, sponsored by Extra Therm. The finalists are... David Komiski, MCIAT. David's passion for architectural technology is infectious. He exhibits all that is good in the profession and is an exemplary ambassador and role model for any inspiring chartered architectural technologist. His contribution to the advancement of the discipline in relation to research, teaching and civic engagement has been nothing short of transformational. Roshin Nihohans, MCIAT. Roisin's exceptional talent and architectural ability, coupled with her dedication to the profession and endless support for her fellow architectural technology professionals are just several of the reasons she has been nominated. She is respected, admired and recognised by her peers and professionals. An exceptional chartered architectural technologist with a keen eye for detail and an in-depth understanding of our industry. 
She is also an extremely reliable colleague who can always be depended on to carry out the job to the highest standards. Adam Parry, MCIAT. Adam has developed the healthcare sector in Wales for Stride Trigalown, delivering specialist health facilities for the benefit of patients where they need it most. Becoming the youngest divisional director in the company's history, his enthusiasm for best practice is contagious. Always approachable and encouraging of others to focus on delivering the best possible results, his generosity of character, particular focus on high quality and endless patience reflect his core values. Alex Sotos, MCIAT. Alex consistently exemplifies the tenets of a chartered architectural technologist. He shows unswerving commitment to his role by pushing the boundaries of his technical design and delivery capabilities. His willingness to learn and develop himself sets him apart and he selflessly shares his knowledge and enthusiasm for technical innovation with his colleagues, which brings enormous value to those project teams he works with. All, yes, yes, please give it up for those. All very worthy winners in their own right, but there can be only one before announcing the winner. Let's hear from the nominator, the winner's nominator, on exactly what makes a Chartered Architectural Technologist of the Year. I've known this person for a number of years. I'm nominating them to be Chartered Architectural Technologist of the Year. The reason why I'm nominating them is because they're fantastic at their work. They're fantastic in terms of how they inspire everybody around them and how they inspire both those that they work with, but also those that they uh, work in the universities with as well. They're a real ambassador for CAAT, and that's the reason why I'm nominating them to be a Chartered Architectural Technologist of the Year. Through promotion and excellence, I don't know anybody who would disagree that this person should be Chartered Architectural Technologist of the Year 2020. Can you feel the, can you feel the tension in the room? I certainly can. It's, it's building, it's growing. We have a golden envelope here. Let's not muck this up, Neil. Here we go. We're going to open it and find out who is the Chartered Architectural Technologist of the Year? The winner is Roisin Nihohons. <laughs> Roisin, how are you? How does that feel? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> um, I'm a bag of nerves. <laughs> I'm really shocked. Okay, well, listen, let, uh, let me No, it's, it's such a pleasure. It's such a pleasure. And I, I know it's strange doing it the way we are, but, but just share it with us. The, what does that mean uh, at this stage of your career and, uh, you know, the hard work that goes into something like this? Uh, you know, what does an award like this mean to you? Um, it's something else. Um, I've, I've worked from a junior technologist all the way up and um, to get this far and then to be recognised for that work is absolutely incredible. Um, I've got so much support over the years and um, I think, you know, it's, it's thanks to everyone else as well for, for helping me along the way. It's an amazing accolade to receive. Um, I'm, I'm sure, as you say, all of these things are, is a matter of teamwork. There, there must be people that you want to recognise that you that you want to say thank you to uh, as, as part absolutely, of that. Absolutely. Uh, Justin there, Kelly, um, he's uh, you know, been a great inspiration over the years. Um, everyone at BPW, um, my team. Um, you know, there's a lot of clients I've worked with along the years who've been, you know, great working with. And the lecturers, I know everyone in GMIT and in Galway is watching right now. So hello to those. And um, yeah, absolutely everyone. I think um, it's just been a great, well, I've been about nine years doing this. So it's, it's been a great, um, it's, it's great to just come to this fair and uh, be recognised for that. Um, I'm wondering, you know, what would you share with somebody who maybe is just entering the discipline, who's who's finding their way, maybe looking at courses or halfway through a course? What what has it taken? What are the things that you need to have, the qualities that that you think are important um, to to reach this kind of level of, of, of achievement, accomplishment? Yeah, well, it, it's it's um, it's a really great um, it's a really great uh, career path, and I've said to many people, I, I do visit uh, universities and kind of give talks on how what it is as a career and how you can progress. Um, you know, it's it's logical thinking, it's critical thinking, it's um, problem solving, it's a lot to do with relationships and communication is really important. Um, it's when I. Um, 
graduated, there was a recession and we've come through that and we've come out the other side. And I think it's it's quite tough maybe in the next, in the last couple of months last year for new graduates, but you know, keep with it, keep strong um, and you'll, you'll get through it and, and you'll, you'll do really well. Um, it's a lot of education and it's, it's a lot of teamwork and teamwork is really important to me. And I think that's what helps get everything moving. So um, yeah, no, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. I'm really excited. And um, I hope as well, you know, being, dare I say, being a female in the industry is, is hard sometimes. And it's a great accolade to be a female and, and receipt of this, of this award, because I think it, it shows a lot that, you know, we're all as capable as everyone else. So I'm really, really excited. Uh, well, listen, I'm so happy for you and I'm really looking forward to meeting you hopefully next year. Uh, I know, I'm really this... sad. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. We'll, we'll make up for lost time. It won't be a problem at all. I'm sure we can work something out. Uh, Roisin, congratulations again. And um, I hope you, you managed to find a way to, I hope you managed to find a way to, to celebrate in some way today. I will, hopefully. I'm on my own right now, but hopefully maybe later oh, my this goodness. evening. <laughs> you need to sort that out as soon as possible, Roisin. It's a good... great sensation. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely talking to you anyway and have a enjoy the Thank rest of the day. Thank you very much. All right, you take Thanks care. Thanks to everyone at the IIT. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, cheers, Roisin. Well, well, get, let's let's give it up for Roisin. Oh, there we go. It's lovely to, to see you win and share in that moment. And uh, hopefully she's going to get a crowd around her as much as restrictions allow right now. Well, guys, well, how fantastic was that? Thank you for joining us. Uh, it, it was the 80 Awards of 2020 and the class of 2020 winners um, will get their moment. As I was explaining to Roisin there, they'll be in the spotlight next year, um, along with a special showcase and celebration of all of you um, in our 2021 AT Awards. I hope, like me, uh, you're already now looking forward to the 2021 AT Awards and that you're thinking of entering or nominating someone to be next year's Katie. The AT Awards open in February. Watch out uh, for this via the website, the AT Journal, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. And yes, let's put it out there, the Architect Talk. I can report at this late stage of events, we have heard from somebody in Barbados. So we can tick that one. But give it up for Barbados. How are you, Ian? We feel for you on the beach there. We do. Uh, let's hope that we can celebrate next year in 2021 in the normal month of September. Uh, I'm certainly looking forward to it myself. I like to be able to see and feel my audience. <laughs> maybe, you know what I'm saying, and maybe give you a hug, some of you. Certainly, David, you're due a hug, man. Um, once again, a reminder to visit our Digital Showcase Virtual Project Gallery, sponsored by Apple Core Designs, uh, where you can walk around the finalists' projects. Uh, you can find the link on our website, and that will be sent to everybody who registered to attend today, uh, and it also be placed on all the social media links. Um, a final thank you, big thank you, to our sponsors, McPal and Finn, Extra Therm, and to our supporter, Apple Core Designs, for providing the virtual gallery experience. I think it's time that we had one last catch up with Eddie. Where is he? How are you, Eddie? What did you think of that? Ah, uh, wow. Uh, what a wonderful event. Uh, thank you, Matt, for being such a wonderful host as always. It, it's always our pleasure to work with you. And thank you to everyone who's joined us today. I was looking at the numbers. It's just truly sensational. And to all our nominees and winners, the quality of the entry submissions as always was tremendous. Congratulations again to you all. Uh, this is a pretty amazing opportunity for us to showcase everything that is wonderful about architectural technology. So thank you to everyone who was involved in this year's awards, the wonderful production team, our judges, and of course, our amazing CIAT staff. What can we do without you? What a fabulous time to be an AT, really. Yeah. You're not please, kidding. Yeah, please take care, stay safe, look after each other. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you all hopefully in person sometime soon. You're all amazing. Thank you. Um, Eddie, I've got one final question for you, right? Is it any coincidence at all that an, an AT award looks not dissimilar from a pint of Guinness? Uh, no, it doesn't. Oh, <laughs> fancy that. It's fine. It's, it's, <laughs> It's half past 12. Well, there's the real prize. Cheers to you, Eddie. There cheers. we go. Cheers I'm to you, Eddie. <laughs> and cheers to all of you at home. Listen, have a very happy holiday. Have a very safe time. 
And listen, we will see you on the other side of this thing for a proper one of these and a good old chin wag and some quality time. All right, that's the AT Awards 2020. You look after yourselves now, stay safe. Cheers, bye-bye.